the process of selecting suitable ingredients of concrete and producing a concrete of the required properties as economically as possible, is termed the concrete mix design. In this lecture we will learn steps involved to design a concrete mix. Concrete is composed of aggregates, cement, water, and any other cementitious material. Concrete mixes will also have chemical admixtures used to accelerate, retard or improve manageability of the concrete. Selecting the best concrete mix is a task that has to consider costs and placement requirements while providing a great aesthetic and integral product. A great concrete mix has to consider various properties of concrete, to achieve desired results. Let us understand about concrete properties that are to be considered. Number 1. Workability. The concrete mix workability is the property that determines the mix capacity to be placed and consolidate properly, allowing to finish a product without segregation. Number 2. Consistency. This property determines the mobility and slump of the concrete mix. This characteristic is measured in terms of slump. The higher slump values, the more it is manageable and greater mobility will be obtained. Number 3. Strength. This is one of the most important characteristics of a concrete mix, and the most known property of concrete. Depending upon the grade of concrete, the composition of mix will vary. The compressive strength is measured using a compression testing machine after the concrete cube has reached 28 days. Number 4. Water Cement Ratio. The water cement ratio on a concrete mix is ratio between the weights of cement, to the weight of water being added to the mix. More the ratio, lesser the strength for a given amount of cement, however there is more workability. But this can be controlled using admixtures. Number 5. Durability. A good concrete mix will provide you with concrete that could withstand severe weather conditions and changes without any decay sign. The more durable the concrete is, the more resistant to weather and other external damages it will be. Number 6. Heat release. Remember to consider this property for concrete mix because concrete released heat under a chemical reaction that will fade it at a reasonable rate. By considering this property we would reduce producing cracks or shrinkage. Further moving with steps for designing the concrete mix. Starting with, decide recommended slump for it consider slump required depending upon the component of building or method of placing concrete in its place. For pavements maximum slump to be considered is 50 mm. For footings, foundations wall, bridge deck it has to be around 75 mm. For pumpable concrete, the slump has to be around 120 mm. The slump to be considered is at time of pouring, and not manufacturing. There might be some time between both the activities. Step 2, is to decide water cement ratio. Reducing the water cement ratio will increase the strength of the concrete and provide better durability. However, decreasing the water cement ratio can also significantly reduce the workability of the concrete. Obtain the water cement ratio for the desired mean target using the empirical relationship between compressive strength and water cement ratio. Step 3. Estimate the nominal size of the aggregate amount. The maximal dimension of the cause aggregate is governed by the limitations of the structure cross-section and reinforcement design. Increasing the aggregate size is usually more economical as it reduces the amount of cement per unit of volume, however, it may affect the workability of the mix. Step 4 is to adjust for moisture in aggregates. Here the last step in the calculations adjusts the amount of water in the mix design based on the input of the moisture content and degree of moisture absorption of coarse and fine aggregates. The amount of water can further be reduced with chemical admixtures like water reducer. Determine the concrete mix proportions for the first trial mix. 
prepare the concrete using the calculated proportions and cast three cubes of 150 mm size and test them wet after 28 days moist curing and check for the strength. Prepare trial mixes with suitable adjustments till the final mix proportions are arrived at. For good design mix the proportioning of ingredients of concrete is governed by the required performance of concrete in two states, namely the plastic and the hardened states. If the plastic concrete is not workable, it cannot be properly placed and compacted. The property of workability, therefore, becomes of vital importance. Refer to Indian Standards Specification 456 for more details.